New York's annual LGBT film festival, New Fest, kicked off its 30th year on Wednesday night at SVA Theater. This year's film festival stretches across the course of seven days and features over 140 films, panels, and parties honoring LGBTQ filmmakers and artists. Having a, fil a festival like New Fest where you can celebrate queer life, queer love, queer histories, and really have a chance to look deeply into those, removing some of those roadblocks like stereotypes, it's incredibly important. Yeah. The opening film this year was director Yen Tan's 1985, a film set in 85 centering around a gay man who returns home after getting diagnosed with AIDS. It's that we wanted to uh, explore 80s in a very unexpected way, you know, because I think we tend to think of 80s in a very colorful and vibrant sort of manner. And uh, I, I feel like for a lot of people who were impacted by the AIDS epidemic, they remember those days in very stark times. We happen to be at a time when social uh, social rights are unfortunately under siege. Um, so this this film feels far more timely than I wish it uh, than I wish it were. Especially in the past several days with the attack on the trans community, it's an important time for us to be heard, to come together as a community, to be strong and to be forward, and to make sure that the people of the world that know that we're not going anywhere. Passes for the festival range from $150 to $850. After the opening night, the festival will highlight two centerpiece films. A U.S. film, Boy Erased, will screen on Thursday. Jared, tell me the truth, that's all. I think about men. I don't know. The international centerpiece film that was banned from its home country in Kenya, Rafiki, will be shown on Friday. To see what all 140 screenings and events are, head to the NewFest website. This is Brooke Jensen for NYU News.